Welcome everyone, the Red Clay Consolidated School District is proud to bring you a very special graduation ceremony celebrating the Cab Calloway School of the Arts Class of 2020. Congratulations, you turkeys. Are you alive, alert, enthusiastic? Ladies and gentlemen, future grandparents. I'm wrong all the time. Just ask my wife. Only practice the piano on the days that you eat. Touchdown. Less tick tocks and more tick tacks. You need a mint. It's funky Friday. But because it's your graduation, Twilight is my favorite novel. There. Happy. Clear your desks. Good evening. Welcome to Cab Calloway School of the Arts Theater. This space is special to us and is very much a part of what we do at Cab Calloway School of the Arts. But tonight isn't about our theater, nor is it about our classrooms. Tonight is about the students. Each student is a special part of the spirit and the mission of our school. As the Dean, I am honored this evening to celebrate 125 graduates of the class of 2020. They are strong, they are resilient, and they will be even stronger for having weathered the storms of the last couple of months. Please join me now here in our theater to honor and celebrate the graduating class of 2020 at this special commencement ceremony.
Good evening, dignitaries, members of the faculty, parents, families, and friends and classmates. On behalf of the class of 2020, and as president of the class, I would like to thank you for joining us this evening to celebrate the 21st commencement ceremony of Cab Calloway School of the Arts High School. As much as we wish the class of 2020 could be together on our stage this evening, living in this unprecedented time has made that not possible. Because of this, we have worked very hard to plan a special evening for our graduates, their families, and our CAB community. I am excited to welcome you all to share this very special moment honoring our graduating seniors. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to stand and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem. It is my privilege to introduce Miss Madison Washington, a senior vocal major who will sing our national anthem. Welcome, Maddie. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. As Vice President of Student Council, I have the honor of introducing a person who has championed public schools and has spent more than 30 years in public service. Over his career, he has fought for health, safety, and the prosperity of Delawareans and currently serves as the state's 74th governor. Please welcome Governor John Carney. Hi, this is Governor John Carney. I wanted to take this time to address the entire class of 2020. Normally, I would be giving a graduation speech like this in a large venue like a football stadium, an auditorium, or a gymnasium. I know this is not the way many of you wanted your senior year to end, but I'm confident that the class of 2020 will be one of the most resilient graduating classes in the history of our state. No doubt we are experiencing a situation like no other in our state, across our country, and throughout the world. The changes to our routines and the disruption of our daily lives has not been easy, and we've had to make different memories than the ones we expected. The experiences and knowledge you've gained over the last four years will help you adjust to the new normal. You are armed with the skills you'll need to succeed as you continue your education or enter into the workforce. And more than ever, you're equipped with the ability to work through new challenges that you will encounter along the way. We've never needed more problem solvers and innovators than we do now, and I'm confident that the class of 2020 will rise to the occasion. Though we are celebrating this milestone virtually, let's not forget the importance of graduation. Your hard work and dedication have paid off as you make this important step into the next chapter of your lives. I look forward to seeing your continued success I know we'll get through this difficult time and that you will help lead us to a stronger future. Congratulations to the class of 2020 
and good luck to each and every one of you. As president of the National Honor Society, I'm honored to introduce the current Secretary of Education for the state of Delaware, a woman who has spent a career in education as a teacher, principal, superintendent, and now leads the state's efforts in public education. Please welcome the State of Delaware Secretary of Education, Dr. Susan Bunting. Delaware seniors, I am Secretary of Education, Susan Bunting, and I want to congratulate you on earning your diplomas. I know this wasn't the senior year that you envisioned. Your families and communities are facing challenges. You may know someone who is ill or who has died because of COVID-19. You may know someone who has lost his or her job or is struggling to put food on the table because of lost income. Our nation and state are facing great losses right now. As serious as those challenges are, they don't trivialize your own disappointment. You have reason to feel upset about the missed spring sports season, musicals, concerts, and proms. You wanted to finish your senior year in the class with your teachers and your friends. You wanted to walk across the stage of Bob Carpenter Center or your high school stadium to receive your diploma and hear the well-deserved applause of the thousands that were there to cheer you on. You earned that. While your disappointment is real and you may briefly grieve for those lost plans, recognize that your class will be an historic one. The class of 2020 will be remembered not for what it couldn't have, but for what it overcame. Your leadership, creativity, and resilience will be long commended. As school buildings closed, you continued to remotely learn, either at your kitchen table or your home desk. This forced you to think differently, often work more independently, and manage your time in new ways. All of these are skills that will serve you well in college, the military, and in your career. Some of you balanced your own studies while supporting younger siblings. Some of you continued working part-time jobs, putting yourselves on the line in this crisis to benefit others. Some of you went to work to support our first responders, using your 3D printers to make face guards or sewing face coverings to the, for those in need. Adults who don't know teens well often quickly judge your generation. During this crisis, the class of 2020 certainly has proven those stereotypes wrong. You have worked hard when it would have been easy to give up. You finished your studies, met your goals, and are now ready to support your families and communities in new ways. We need people like you right now. We need people who can move past their own disappointments to work hard, take risks, and persevere for the good of the community. Your school leaders are planning activities to mark your accomplishments this spring in ways that are safe for you and your families and give you the recognition that you, the members of the class of 2020, truly deserve. I am sincerely proud of each of you and emphasize that each of you is here for a special purpose. Our Buckminster Fuller once professed, and I quote, never forget that you are one of a kind and never forget, no matter how overwhelming life's challenges and problems seem to be, that one person can make a difference in the world. In fact, it is always because of one person that all the changes in them that really matter in the world come about. So be that person. Seniors, you are a special class, one that none of us will ever forget. I reiterate my congratulations on your achievements to date, wish you the best in the future, and challenge you as you go out into the world to use your talents and resolve to dream big and make a difference. As Vice President of the Class of 2020, it is my distinguished honor to introduce to you the Superintendent of the Red Clay Consolidated School District, a man who has been an outstanding leader, especially through the recent challenges presented by COVID-19 that we have faced as a district. Please welcome our Superintendent, Mr. Darrell Green. Hello, CAB Class of 2020. On behalf of the Red Clay Consolidated School District, members of the school board, district leadership staff, and our educators, we say thank you. As we celebrate this milestone in your lives during this unconventional time and in this unconventional manner, we thank you for the sacrifice this class of graduates has made and ultimately what you were born into. You are the graduating class that was born post 9-11 and now you're graduating during COVID-19. I'll be brief in my remarks because we are here to celebrate and recognize this milestone in your life's journey. I recently came across a quote by Robert Frost that simply states the best way out is through. The class of 2020 has been through, currently going through, and will continue to go through challenging times. We often associate 2020 with vision, but for some of the parents and grandparents who are viewing this, they'll also remember it, a TV show hosted by Barbara Walters. But 2020 has a lot of significance and meaning when you come to think of it. Someone with 2020 vision can see what the average person can't. 
2020 represents your visual acuity, which represents distance and size. You have come a long way, and the magnitude of the challenges you will face may feel overwhelming, but the class of 2020 represents so much more. It's a matter of perspective. Even in the midst of this difficult time, what you do and what you see in your future class of 2020 is what matters most. You hold the pen as you write your own narrative. Vision is the act of power which gives direction to our lives and makes our goals and dreams a reality. A vision is not the same as goals or objectives, however. Those come from the head. A vision comes from the heart. And you are the class of heart. The class of 2020 has routinely demonstrated both heart and the work that you do in school, but more importantly, what you represent throughout our community. Cab, your spirit is infectious. From the time you walk into the building, the energy that's led by the class of 2020 truly changes you. Whether you see a student sitting at the piano, you feel the energy that is immersed throughout that building, you can't help but feel the heart that you endure. Seeing members from this class, such as Allison Selden and Nyla McQueen, who are going on to major in nursing during such an unprecedented time, shows true visionary. Vision shows us where we're headed. What is your true north? Don't stop dreaming. Vision provides motivation and inspires us. Your brilliance and thirst for life is inspirational. Vision helps keep us moving forward and moving through obstacles. You may make mistakes, but risk taking is in your DNA. Vision provides focus. Be smart about living your dreams and surround yourself with the support systems that will keep you focused. Vision gives us purpose and meaning to what we do. Know that you matter. Walk boldly in the future, although it may feel scary and full of uncertainty during this time, but you are the class of 2020. You see things that others don't see. Take the time to narrow out your expectations and help others as we look to lead our state, our nation, and our world with heart, passion, and determination. Just remember this class of 2020. You are the class that holds the vision to the future, the class that has captured our hearts. We love you and we salute you. We wish you the best in all that you do and always know that you have a home here in Red Clay. Congratulations. As treasurer of the class of 2020, it is my distinguished honor to introduce our class valedictorian, Ms. Jessica Smith. Jessica is vice president of the National Honor Society, secretary to the class of 2020, and a two-year member of the Delaware Community Foundation's Youth Philanthropy Board. She has been recognized as an AP Scholar with Distinction, a Secretary of Education Scholar, and our 2020 6 ABC Best of the Class nominee. Jessica will attend the University of Delaware's Honors Program in the fall with a Trustees Scholarship. Please welcome our valedictorian, Jessica Smith. Hello, Class of 2020. I would like to open with a quote. It is never too late to be whoever you want to be. There is no time limit. Start whenever you want. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people who have a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. And if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start again. F. Scott Fitzgerald. High school is a journey of finding who you are. It is not about the academics, well, maybe it is a little, but it is really about the people who you meet along the way and the people who help you find your sense of self. We are all in the stages of self-discovery. And even if you think you know who you are, in high school, you quickly come to realize that you have no idea. We try so hard to fit in and stand out at the same time. It's such a crazy paradox that we don't know what to do. But we figured it out and we learned taking the first steps of discovering who we are as human beings the first day we stepped through the door of this school. We went through each day facing challenges and learning things about ourselves that we never knew. We learned we are stronger than we thought, braver, smarter, kinder. As a class, we have gone above and beyond expectations and exceeded possibilities. We all have achievements and insanely long resumes that we are extremely proud of. And I know that every single one of us has left our mark on this school and the people in it. But these accomplishments are already in the past. I'm excited for us to pave the new roads that we will soon be traveling down. I say pave because I know each and every one of us is bound for something great. We won't simply follow the paths made by others,
but will instead forge our own way through life. We will always carry with us what we have accomplished and learned in high school, and I know that it will help us make a difference in the world. We are each made up of our sense of self, our knowledge of the world, our relationships and connections, and everything that makes up our existence. You add new tools and notions to your collection as you learn new things every day. You take on new perspectives and create new ideas. You meet new people and form new bonds. You discover a little bit more about yourself and change for the better. Every day you find new pieces to this huge puzzle we call life as we learn and grow as a person. Everything is ever changing and ever flowing. Nothing is concrete and you are not cemented in your past. Life is fluid. We are fluid. The class of 2020 is going to do some amazing and inspiring things, starting as soon as we move the tassels on our caps from one side to the other. As we venture out into that big, scary world, we are going to create change because I know the people we have grown into. We are the people who will be leading the world into a better tomorrow. We, we will create a remarkable impact, whether big or small, on this beautiful yet chaotic world that we live in. And although we may fall sometimes, I know we have the strength and resilience to get back up, to never give up. I want to thank the CAB students, teachers, and administration for inspiring me as well as my fellow classmates to discover who we truly are. I am so incredibly grateful to have been a part of such an inspiring, brilliant, passionate, creative, remarkable, ambitious, and fearless class. The community that we've created at this school will always be a part of us. We have made many accomplishments within the four walls of this school, but now it is time to set our sights on the future. In these unprecedented times, where uncertainty seems to be consuming everyone's thoughts, I think it is important to take this moment to remind everyone that when it rains, there are only two things you can do. Hide under your umbrella or learn to dance in the rain. I hope you dance. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce you to the class of 2020's co-salutatorian and president of our National Honor Society, Sophia Block. Sophia has been recognized as a National Merit Commended Scholar, an AP Scholar with Distinction, a Carson Scholar, and most recently, a Secretary Education Scholar. Sophia will attend Brown University in the fall, majoring in Behavioral Decision Science, and is the recipient of a Brown University Scholarship. Please welcome my dear friend, Sophia Block. Hello, class of 2020. I want to start out by saying how much I miss seeing you and ending our senior year together. Although we're not all on this stage as a class like we had hoped, we've had an amazing four or seven year journey together. Many of us came to CAB as sixth graders, expecting to live a life like on the Nickelodeon show Victorious, and I do have to say I've never been disappointed. We've been surrounded by motivated artists, performers, and musicians who push each other to be the best versions of ourselves. For this, I feel incredibly lucky and forever grateful. When reflecting back on our time at CAB, I imagine a story. Our shared experiences added beautiful illustrations to the once duller pages of our individual chapters. We quickly came to know everyone in our grade, all of the characters, our best friends, and we've learned from exceptional mentors along the way. I'll always remember students dancing through the halls, singing in the stairwell, playing piano in the lobby, and the enormous sounds of laughter erupting from the theater during the 12 Joys performances. The class of 2020 has also endured situations that no classes have experienced before. In March of 2016, we lost a member, Leon. We all miss him very much and wish that he was here with us. Now we're graduating during a pandemic. We're the only Cab Calloway class to finish out our senior year virtually. Though these situations may have felt like torn pages from our book, They've bound us together, stronger than ever heading forward into our next chapter. We've become creative and found ways to comfort one another, learn and celebrate from a distance, from Zoom game nights to teachers delivering surprise yard signs to all of the seniors. Like any great page turner, we can't help ourselves from peeking ahead at the next chapter. But at the same time, we may be apprehensive about rushing through this priceless time. Moving forward, we'll spread out in all different directions. Some of our classmates will go to North Carolina, Florida, California, and Canada. And still, we always share a fundamental commonality. This amazing experience at CAB, connections we formed here with teachers and students alike, fill the pages of our story. I have memories of studying at the Hokesson Library with friends during midterms week, screaming at pep rally as the seniors won, 
and traveling to Arkansas with Jess, who had become one of my best friends because of a project that started right here with Mrs. Sullivan at CAB. Over the years, CAB has become our home, and these memories will shape us for the rest of our lives. Now is the cliffhanger in our story. Where will we go, what will we do, and how will we change the world? Personally, I don't know exactly how my story will continue, what new characters will enter, or what new plot twists may come. But I do know how each of you has enhanced my story. At CAB, I learned to recognize the power of creativity and found my voice as a leader. I will bring these lessons with me to college and carry them throughout my life. So now, class of 2020, it's time for each of us to take our CAB chapters and share them with the world. I look forward to reuniting with you all in the future and reading about your new chapters and adding the epilogue to our story. It is now my honor to introduce to you our co-salutatorian, Kristen Michaels. Kristen is the master electrician of our theater, head editor of the literary magazine, and the founder and president of the Environmental Club. Kristen has been recognized as an AP scholar with honor and is the recipient of the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. Kristen has garnered awards at National History Day at both the state and national levels. Kristen plans to major in history at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Thank you. Man, this ended weird. This is not what we thought this day would be, but that's all right. Because even though I'm not here with you all physically, I have never felt more connected to our class. We didn't get these last few months, but we had a great run. CAB is our home, and you don't lose a home. And that's whether you've been here for two or four or seven years. We're all here together. I remember being a little sixth grader and thinking that the hallways were so confusing and that the high schoolers were scary and that this place was magical. And as I went up through the grades, I grew up and, you know, I realized the hallways are just a circle and that high schoolers are actually pretty friendly, but I never stopped thinking this place is magical. Right when you walk through the door, there's someone playing on the lobby piano. Venture down a hallway, and you'll see dance majors twirling, or you'll hear the beautiful chorus coming out of Miss Eldris' room. If you go into the art gallery, you'll see some of the best masterpieces you've ever seen. Everywhere you go, talent surrounds you and pushes you to be better. This place gives you room to grow and explore. We have a professional loving recording studio, one of the best theaters in the state. If there's something you want to do, all you have to do is ask. That's what truly makes it magical, how much everyone here wants you to succeed. So I'd like to take a moment to thank every teacher, every student, and every staff member who has ever believed in me. I feel like I have a family in all of you. So, like every great family reunion, I'm here to provide some unsolicited advice. I don't want any one of you guys to give up on your passion whether that be editing music videos, or leading protest, or singing for the Pope, you all have something to give the world. Thank you. I am honored to introduce this evening one of the individuals who helped to start our school more than 28 years ago, a woman who helped create the vision of our school and graciously provided her father's namesake to honor our school. Please welcome the daughter of Cab Calloway herself, Ms. Gabella Calloway Langsam. Good evening, Cab Calloway School of the Arts. My name is Cabela Calloway. I am so honored to present the Cab Calloway Medal, which of course I can't really present it to you, but I am. I would like to say to all the parents, teachers, school boards, Zoom, and all of the online work that these young people have done during this time of chaos, it is amazing. They have reached an incredible milestone in their lives. So let's get right to it. The Cab Calloway Medal is the greatest honor bestowed upon two students each graduation. The students who receive these medals are selected by the faculty and exemplify the spirit of Cab Calloway. The criteria for this award would spell out my name, Calloway. C is for cooperativeness. A is for academic diligence. L is for loyalty to school. L is for loyalty to classmates. O, outstanding citizenship. 
W, willingness to serve. A, accomplishments in the arts and Y, yearning for excellence. And the high school winners are this year of the Cab Calloway Medal are Sophia Block and Kristen Michaels. Congratulations to both of you young ladies. I'm very impressed. And I also want to thank everybody that went into helping you get to this milestone of your life. I'm so proud of you. Carry on your spirit and keep Heidi Ho in your soul. Love all of you. As the arts team leader, I have the honor of recognizing the students who dedicated four years to their arts major. These students are wearing colored tassels to signify each arts area. Dance majors are wearing lavender. Communication arts majors are wearing orange. Instrumental music majors are wearing gold. Piano majors are wearing white. Strings majors are wearing green. Technical theater majors are wearing black. Theater majors are wearing yellow. Visual arts majors are wearing multicolors. And vocal majors are wearing pink. I also have the honor of recognizing those students who are wearing special attire acknowledging their academic achievements. All of these students have achieved the highest honors in their respective honor societies representing high standards of scholarship, character, leadership, and service, both to our school and the greater community. Please check our program for the Honor Society information for many of our arts and academic areas. Thank you. Please welcome the advisor to the class of 2020 and academic team leader, Mr. Dan Kafader, who will introduce the graduates of the class of 2020. Thank you, Ms. Eldrith. Before I introduce the members of our graduating class this evening, I have a couple comments I'd like to make. First, a personal one. To all the graduates, over our four years together, I've had a chance to celebrate in your triumphs and also help guide you through the challenges we've faced. It has been an honor to do so, and I hope the lessons that you've learned here at CAB will serve you well in the years to come. Also, let me be the first to invite you all for many happy returns to CAD. Wherever you go in life, I hope you know you'll always have a home here at this school. I look forward to the day when we get to shake hands and give hugs, but that will have to wait until we meet again. Additionally tonight, I have the distinct honor of announcing the gifts that our senior class is making to our school and to our community. For our gift to the school, we have chosen to install a bench next to the main entrance dedicated to remember a student of the class of 2020 whom we lost four years ago, Leon Hewn. As the graduates walk across the stage, you'll notice they are wearing a gold ribbon. Gold is the color to help raise awareness of childhood cancer. As we honor Leon this evening, we continue to celebrate the time we had with him and keep his family in our hearts. Our gift to the community is intended to help meet the challenge of food security that many around Wilmington face. The class of 2020 has generously elected to donate $1,000 to the Food Bank of Delaware to help fight hunger. These funds will be used to help feed people in need during the economic crisis we are facing. I applaud the class for making this donation and for thinking about how they can help their community, something that I encourage each of them to continue after graduation. And now, without further ado, let me introduce the class of 2020. Anastasia Sapenko. Anastasia will be attending Nova Southeastern University majoring in international relations.
Rodney Woodland Jr. Rodney will be attending Maryland Institute College of Art, majoring in fine arts. Faisal M. Quibili. Faisal will be attending the University of Delaware, majoring in computer science. Hey, Kayla. Kayla Arish Peters Hilts. Kayla will be attending the University of Delaware, majoring in University Studies. Okay. Abigail Jean Ruger. Abigail will be, major, will be attending DeSales University and majoring in musical theater. Bridget Elizabeth Sullivan. Bridget plans to attend the University of Delaware, majoring in sports health. Sam Bernal. Sam will be attending the University of Delaware, majoring in computer science. Kevin Charles Nanasinkum. Kevin will be attending Berkeley College of Music with a major in music. Benjamin Sidney Hess. Benjamin will be attending Cabrini College with a major in Criminology and Nutrition. Jacob Sean Klein. Jacob will be attending Indiana University with a major in musical theater. What's up, buddy? You set your card down. Congratulations. Joshua Thomas Von Frieken. Joshua will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in music education. Sophia Marcia Cross.
Sophia will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in criminal justice. Emily Sarah Beverin. Emily will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in music education. Carl Matthew Cezanne Antwaka. Matt will be attending University of Delaware with a major in mechanical engineering. Chloe Jean Cowden. Chloe will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in business. Sarah Ann Marine. Sarah will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in environmental engineering. Alexis Elizabeth Nowak. Alexis will be attending Temple University with a major in theater. Natalie Morgan Marine. Natalie will be attending Newman University with a major in liberal arts. Hey, Melanie. Thanks. Congratulations. Melanie and Hannah. Melanie plans to take a gap year next year. Mac Benedict Dortu Jordan. In the fall, Mac will be attending Duquesne University with a double major in music performance and Bachelor of Music Technology. Congratulations. Cameron Joseph Kazepsky. Cameron will be attending Johns Hopkins Peabody Conservatory with a major in organ performance. Hey Maya, congratulations. Maya Lynn Daly. Maya will be attending American Musical and Dramatic Academy with major in musical theater. Congratulations. Kayla Ann Merritt. Kayla plans to attend Widener University with a major in political science.
Daniel Francis Wallace. In the fall, Dan will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in international relations. What's up, buddy? Congratulations. Elijah Luttrell Banks. Elijah will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in psychology. Manassas Amador Davila. Manassas will be attending Delaware College of Art and Design with a major in illustration and animation. Katie Asai Oka. Katie will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in Human Relations Administration. What's up, Sam? Thanks. Samuel Leroy DeVard. Sam will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in exercise science. Hey, Brooke. Brooke Elizabeth Attucks. Brooke will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in university studies. Harrison James Dexter. In the fall, Harrison will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in criminal justice. Catherine Marsh Dominic. Catherine will be attending Point Park University with a major in Forensic Science. Fabrice Philip Clark. Fabrice plans to pursue a major in Business at Marymount University. Ty Alexander Jones. In the fall, Ty will be attending Bowie State University with a major in music technology. What's up, buddy? Zachary Cooper Hitchens. In the fall, Zach will be attending Emerson College with a major in comedic arts. Hey, 
Zoe. Have a great day. Congratulations. I've done your name. You walk. Zoe Rebecca McLean. Zoe will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in Women and Gender Studies. Meredith Poppy Little. Next year, Meredith plans to take a gap year. Kelsey Lynn Pliant. Kelsey will be attending Delaware Technical and Community College with a major in elementary education. Connor Paul Brust. In the fall, Connor will be attending DeSales University with a major in TV and film. Congratulations. Mia Budzinski. Mia will be attending University of Maryland with a major in environmental science and technology. Hey Sarah, congratulations. Sarah Grace Reagan. In the fall, Sarah will be attending Delaware Technical and Community College with a major in nursing. Dominique Renee Jones. Dominique will be attending Montclair State University and is enrolled in the Bachelor of Fine Arts program for dance. Theodore Storm Gretz. Theo will be attending Temple University with a major in liberal, art, liberal arts. Annabelle Claire DeMood. Annabelle will be attending the University of British Columbia with a major in Bachelor of Arts program. Congratulations. Drew Hunter Knotts. In the fall, Drew will be attending Pace University with a major in political science. What's up, buddy? Michael Bertram Zunino. 
Michael plans to attend Rochester Institute of Technology with a major in physics. Jillian May Graff. In the fall, Jillian will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in medical diagnost diagnostics. Sienna Jade Aisha Miller. Sienna is going to be taking a gap year next year, but plans to pursue a major in dance. Samantha Alexis McCafferty. Samantha will be taking a gap year next year. Taylor Lewis Hargis. In the fall, Taylor will be attending Delaware Technical and majoring in computer science. All right. Hey, Jordan. Congratulations. Jordan Michelle Locks. In the fall, Jordan will be attending Ryder University with a major in exercise science. Thanks. Elizabeth Grace Ammon. In the fall, Elizabeth will be attending the University of Central Florida with a major in hospitality and event management. Chloe Elizabeth Farrow Hennigan. Chloe will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in English. It's okay. Kane Krusik Carmine. Kane will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in business and finance. Anna Caroline Carbone. Caroline will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in women and gender studies. Isabella Patty Gentile. 
Isabella will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in energy and environmental policy. Jade Ava Didivar. Jade will be taking a gap year next year and plans to per pursue a career in education. Andrew Robert Walton. Robert will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in University Studies. Catherine Julia Bobiak. Katie will be attending Franklin and Marshall with a major in biology. Claire Ann Hancock. Claire will be attending Delaware Technical with an Associate of Science declared major. Brianna Michelle Wiseman. Brianna will be attending Westchester University with a major in psychology. Hey, Elena. Thanks. <clears throat> Elena Gearing. Elena will be attending the University of North Carolina Wilmington with a major in criminal justice. Hey, Megan. Congratulations. Megan Grace Pfeiffer. Megan will be attending the University of Tampa with a major in cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Congratulations. Kayla Brooks Solomon. Kayla will be attending the University of South Carolina with a major in public health. Hey, congratulations, Kristen. Kristen Rebecca Mills. Kristen will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in early childhood education. Amber will be attending Virginia Polytechnic University with a major in engineering. Hey, 
Elizabeth Ann Furman. Lizzie will be attending the University of North Carolina School of the Arts with a major in stage management. Emily Renee Meekin. Emily will be attending George Mason University with a major in Environmental and Sustainability Studies. Maya Katrina Burchett. Maya will be attending Newman University with a major in nursing. Adriana Marie Brownstein. Adriana will be attending Westchester University with a major in Studio Arts. Congratulations. Olivia Kate Smithson. Olivia will be attending Virginia Commonwealth University with a major in Communication Arts. <laughs> Luciano James Fantini. Luke will be attending Temple University with a major in Jazz Studies. What's up, buddy? Good. Congratulations. Evan Christopher Taylor. Evan will be attending the University of Delaware, majoring in Applied Instrumental Music. Amber Marie Bastianelli. Amber will be attending Millersville University with a major in Social Studies Education. Hey, Alvani. Congratulations. Alvani Yadavelli. Avani will be attending Drexel University with a major in Interactive Digital Media. Christina Page Stanziani. Christina will be attending Fairleigh Dickinson University with a major in animation. Golly. Congratulations. 
Colleen Ann Morris. Colleen will be attending Delaware Technical with a major in nursing. Jada Ann Heyman. Jada will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in neuroscience. Yeah. Melissa Yvette Washington. Melissa will be attending Lincoln University in Missouri with a major in pre-medicine. Rebecca Grace Winward. Rebecca will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in political science. Sabrina Pham. Sabrina will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in environmental science. Congratulations. Victoria Amber Gallagher. Victoria will be attending Widener University with a major in Biomedical Engineering. Christina Judith Natalini. Christina will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in medical diagnostics. Claire Kayung Matthews. Claire will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute with a major in Aerospace Engineering. Congratulations, Allison. Allison Erica Selden. Allison will be attending Brigham Young University with a major in Nursing. Seren Brielle Tompkins. Seren will be attending the University of Miami, Miami with a major in English. Paige Lee. Paige will be attending Rutgers University with a major in English. Anjali Celeste Roach. 
Anjali will be attending St. Mary's College of Maryland with a major in psychology. Nyla Janelle McQueen. Nyla will be attending Westchester University with a major in nursing. Hannah Victoria Cash. Hannah will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in Nutrition and Medical Science. Congratulations. Leopold Dominic Puella. Leo will be attending the University of Delaware with a double major in Applied Music and Psychology. Tamron Renee Jones. Tamron will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in political science. Albany Joy Doyle. Albany will be attending the University of the Sciences majoring in pharmacy. Semi Kong. Semi will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology with a major in industrial design. Ava Lauren Moss. Ava will be attending the Maryland Institute College of Art with a major in illustration. Dominic Amir Ball. Dominic will be attending Newman University with a major in criminal justice. Ariane Patricia Smith. Ariane will be attending Delaware State University with a major in animal science, pre-veterinary medicine. She's also enlisted in the Army National Guard. Okay. Sky Aria Roca. Sky will be attending Pace University with a major in journalism. Marlena Elise Awiton. Marlena will be attending the University of Delaware 
and majors in the World Scholars Program. Wyatt Starr. Wyatt will be attending Flagler College with a major in Coastal Environmental Science. Suing Christina Chen. Suen plans to attend Ohio State University with a major in data analytics. Jack Henry Taylor. Jack will be attending Oakstrom Dam University with a major in horticulture. Peter Jacobus Pretorius III. Peter will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in biomedical engineering. Zachary Thomas Finn. Zach will be attending Ryder University with a major in pop music studies. Sophia Jenna Block. Sophia will be attending Brown University with a major in Behavioral Decision Sciences. A Julian Joshua Perez Perdoma. Ed Julian will be attending Delaware College of Art and Design with a major in Fine Art. He will also be enlisted in the Army National Guard. Ava M. Buckaloo. Ava will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in Early Childhood and Special Education. Daniel Thomas Kennan. In the fall, Dan will be attending Pitt Community College with a major in Business. He also has earned an athletic scholarship for baseball. Jessica Nicole Smith. Jess will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in University Studies. Kristen Ashley Michaels. Kristen will be attending the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill with a major in history.
Graydon Oscar DeCampley. In the fall, Graydon will be attending Temple University, Tyler School of Art, with a major in art therapy. Greta Jennifer Randolph Reed. In the fall, Greta will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in university studies. Congratulations. Allison Buckery. In the fall, Allison will be attending Arizona State University with a major in electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. Noah Michael Wall. Noah will be attending University of Northwestern Ohio with a major in automotive technology. Ariana Rose Kelsale. Ariana will be attending Goldie Beacom College with a major in business. Shair Rajan Naidu. In the fall, Shea will be attending University of California, Los Angeles with a major in political science. Robert Bruce Arthur Shand. Robert will be attending University of New Haven with a major in music and sound recording. Nadia Yasmin Ramirez. Nadia will be attending Wilmington University with a major in film and video production. Alyssa Louise McCormick. In the fall, Alyssa will be attending College of Charleston with a major in Computer Information Systems. Dana Ariel Ogden. Dana will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in marketing. Anna Catherine McDermott. Anna will be taking a gap year while pursuing national EMT certification and continuing her competitive ski racing. In 2021, Anna plans to attend college in New England and major in biology. Congratulations. Margaret Grace Loudon. Margaret will be attending the Catholic University of America with a major in nursing.
Madison Simone Washington. Maddie will be attending Norfolk State University with a major in psychology and sociology. Abigail Victoria Clark. Abby will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in biological sciences. Kali Monda Dewberry. Kali will be attending the University of Delaware with a major in electrical engineering. Zachary Charles Lambert. Zachary will be attending the University of Colorado with a major in physics. Congratulations, graduates. It is with pleasure that I introduce to you the Cab Calloway Assistant Deans who will lead the class of 2020 in the tassel ceremony. Please welcome Dr. Joe Hawking and Dr. Will Robinson. Dear graduates, Mr. Green, administrators of the Red Clay Consolidated School District, members of the Board of Education, Cab Calloway School of the Arts Fund board members, faculty, parents, and guests, we hereby certify that the students we just announced have successfully met the requirements for a diploma from the State of Delaware, the Red Clay Consolidated School District, and Cab Calloway School of the Arts. Graduates, now that you have received your diploma, you may move your tassels from right to left, symbolizing that you are a graduate of Cab Calloway School of the Arts. Congratulations, graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the musical theater class singing What I Did for Love by Marvin Hamlish.
Congratulations, Class of 2020. We have come to the close of our ceremony. You have each crossed our stage for the last time as a student. You have received your diploma, participated in the tassel ceremony, and are ready to take on the next adventure in your life. You are now a graduate of Cab Calloway School of the Arts. You join approximately 2,000 graduates of our school since the first graduating class in the year 2000. You are the 21st graduating class. You are part of this legacy, a community who believes in the power of arts and academics to de develop the individual, a community who believes that students learn best in a diverse and safe environment for all, and a community who believes in high standards for all and are committed to taking risks and being open to change. The challenges we are facing as a nation now are tremendous. It is your time to begin this journey. Remember that you always represent Cab Calloway School. Remember that you have a home here. And most importantly, remember in your life to listen intently, to truly see and hear each person that you meet on your journey, and to honor the experience of the person next to you. So now at this time, it is my distinguished honor to introduce to all of you the 21st graduating class of Cab Calloway School of the Arts, the class of 2020. <laughs> a message to all of my sixth grade seniors. In case you don't remember who I am, I am Mr. Maz. I would hope you wouldn't forget me. Anyway, I'm the guy with, you know, lugubrious antithesis, copious capitulate. I'm not going to bother you with the whole song, but I do want to be serious for one second. I want to tell you all how proud I am of you. And you know what? It doesn't make a hill of beans if you're going to be at school, if you're going to be at the beach, if you're going to be in your bedrooms. You are all graduating. You are all amazing. And each and every one of you has something to be proud of. You have accomplished so much. And I couldn't be happier and more proud to have played a teeny weeny infinitesimal, an infinitesimal part of your education. So go out there and Tear it up, people. That's right, because Mr. Mass is proud of you. Love every one of you. See ya. Hey, and I didn't die, because a couple of you thought, Mr. Mass won't be around with my graduation, but I'm still here. I'm kicking. Yeehaw! Love ya.
How does one turn off this microphone? We're gonna go back and do this. We're so sorry. It's gonna be perfection to take this one. Okay, but when you watch it, you're the only one that's gonna know we did it four times. Okay, so now we're gonna put the Do you, you want to run that back? Yeah. <laughs> the University of Miami, Miami. <laughs> Dignitaries, member of the faculty. Uh, my shadows are in a hunt. <laughs> <laughs>